Today's video we'll take a look at the Hornady Camlock Bullet Puller. Um, it's a really handy little device. It's, it's biggest advantage is speed. Uh, it's, in the time that uh, it takes me to put a bullet in uh, one of these kinetic pullers and uh, bang it on something and get the bullet out of there and, and the, uh, the case, I can do five or six uh, cartridges with uh, the Camlock Bullet Puller. So. That's its biggest advantage is speed. You use your press to uh, uh, pull the bullet instead of, you know, banging it on something. And these things tend to break. I've been through a few of these. That's why I always keep two on hand in case one of them breaks and I can uh, I have something to pull bullets with. Now the Camlock Bullet Puller comes in three pieces. Essentially you have your die body. You have your and you have your cam lock or your cam device, uh, which includes this little pin here, which is the push pin. So those are the two the two pieces that come with the cam lock uh, bullet puller. And you'll also need the appropriate collet for the caliber you're using. Now this particular one is uh, number 13. There's 13 different uh, collets available for different uh, diameter bullets. So number 13 is for uh, 45 caliber. And you'll notice that it goes on a 45 uh, cartridge perfectly and stops at the case neck here. Uh, so that's number 13 is for 45. Uh, number 7 here uh, is for 308 and 312 caliber bullets. So uh, what you do then to set this up is you take the, the cam lock assembly off of the uh, die body. You put the collet in with the... Uh, openings down and then you screw in your cam lock assembly. Now the instructions that come with this thing are confusing at best uh, and almost impossible to accomplish uh, at worst. I adjust mine a little bit differently here. Now you can see uh, at the end here, I'll see if you can see this on the video. If you see that, as I turn the handle, the can, the collet in the end there will come forward and compress. And what that does then is it compresses it around the, I don't know if that's in focus or not, but it compresses the uh, collet then around the bullet. And then when you lower the ram of the press, uh, since this is grabbing onto the bullet, it'll pull the uh, case away from the bullet. So, the way I adjust it, and this is totally different than the, uh, than the instructions, is I'll take the uh, Camlock bullet puller off the press altogether. And I'll, take, I'll put the collet in, and I'll take a uh, cartridge that I want to pull, and I'll just sit it on there, on the, on the collet, and the... the the collet, uh, the, the cartridge will be stopped by the collet grabbing onto the uh, the case mouth here. So I'll uh, put it on like that, and then I'll work the handle. If the handle won't turn, then I'll unscrew it a little bit. Or if I can't turn, uh, you know, lever the handle, I'll turn it a little bit or unscrew it and try again. If I can get it down to a 90 degree, I can check to see if the bullet is being held in place. If it is, maybe I'll screw it in just a little bit more and see if I can get it to a 90 degree. There I can't. So I'm going to undo it maybe about a quarter turn to an eighth of a turn. If I can get it down to a 90 degree, the bullet is held in place. That means I've got my cam lock assembly uh, adjusted properly. So I'm going to take my locking uh, uh, ring here and rock, lock it to that, in that position. Okay, so next step then is to go to the press and adjust it. Okay, to adjust the, the die into the press, again, I do this entirely differently than uh, Hornady does. I'm put my lock and load bushing on there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take cartridge that I want to... Uh, Pull the bullet on. By the way, I, I swapped these cartridges together just for this video. You'll notice that some of them are have a spent primer. Uh, uh, some of them don't have a primer at all. So I 
If you're wondering why I'm using beat up brass and beat up bullets, it's because I, I just put these together for the uh, video. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take a, a cartridge that I want to pull and raise the ram all the way, and then I'll screw the cartridge or the uh, die down over the cartridge until it comes in contact with the neck of the case right there. And then I'll lock that down. All right. Now, then all you need to do in order to pull the bullet is you bring the ram up to the top, keep this straight up, turn the handle, lower the, the ram, and boom. And you bring the handle back up and it'll drop the bullet out for you. Put the next one in. Run it to the top, turn the cam lock device, and boom, bullet pulled. Okay, and then you raise the handle, drops the bullet out for you. So as you can see, I can whip through these pretty quick, uh, much, much faster than a kinetic uh, puller. In fact, I'd still be fiddling with the kinetic puller uh, to get, just to get one cartridge done. Now, this only really works with jacketed bullets. Uh, cast bullets, uh, all you're going to do is, is squish your, your uh, uh, bullet. I, I don't even think it'll work. Let me go ahead and try a cast bullet here. Uh, it shouldn't do any good. And you can't, can't quite grab onto the lead. All I'm doing here is scratching the, scratching the lead. So it won't work with, with cast bullets. But it works great with uh, with jacketed bullets. Uh, very simple to use, simple to to set up, and uh, that works great. Uh, just be careful with this handle here. If you pull this handle, you know, to the side uh, too much, I've heard that they'll break off of there. So uh, when you turn the handle, make sure you're you're going uh, with the uh, with the rotation of the handle and not not against it, um, just to make sure you don't break your handle off. They do sell these handles separately, um, which I, I assume is, is, that's the reason. People tend to break their, their handles off. Um, so, uh, just be careful with that. Other than that, it's a handy little device. goes real quick. That's all for this video. I hope you liked it. If so, please click the like button. Maybe even subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and happy reloading.